Hallelujah, church. God bless each and every one of you that are connected with us here today. Amen. Glorifying the name of the Lord and doing the will of God. Amen. What a perfect promise and blessing that we have the willing and God has the purpose in our lives to be able to give back the life that God has given unto us. We don't know about our tomorrows. We don't know about our next days. And even the days even to come. Amen. There's so many things that are happening. And we're all at a stretch of crying out. And really just looking to see, okay, what's happening in our life but God is leading us to trust him in all sorts of matter of life and I believe that's the reason why he has given me this uh, text and out of the word of God so we can take this even to different areas of prayer. Amen. Bring an awareness for this time and this season that we're in. I know that there's hard situations around us. Um, COVID is one. Okay. Uh, circumstances of so many other things. I mean, people say that it's true. Some people say that it's not true. But the reality in the world is that people are dying. And, you know, and this is happening all around the world. Um, and now we have different catastrophes and different other things that are uh, devastating. And so I might find you in a place that's kind of hard right now in your life and making decisions of which way should I go what should I do um, but I believe that as long as we are being focused and coming to God and putting God first in our lives that that's going to be our first and our foremost the most important thing of all, you know, and some people want to buy a ticket to happiness, but I think that that's the most blessed ticket of all, amen, um, and that's the connection that we have with the Lord, amen, um, I was just rejoicing, it's been a while since I've heard this song, and it's really connecting unto the Lord, you know, that Lord, I need, I need more of you. Amen. Lord, I need more of you. Lord, I can't do things without you. Um, I need you in my life. Uh, I need you in every aspect of my life. Amen. And all areas as well as within my life amen and so let us go into prayer and just begin to thank god and we'll be going in and out of prayer of different areas within the text and also too i'll be sharing with you some high points amen of some areas that we can look into so let us pray right now as we get into the word of god and just truly being thankful and grateful and that our hearts will be open and receptive and ready to receive that what God has for us. Amen. And so, Father, we just come before you here today, Lord. Father, that we are receptive to your word, Father. That our hearts are open. That we are alerted and alarmed for your kingdom first. And, Father God, even... The whole world can be coming down. And so many things around us 
can be affected and alarmed. But Lord, may we stand still and know that you are God and that you're showing more of who you are in our lives and our everyday lives. May I be open and ready to receive you in every step of the way. Lead me, guide me, hide me, protect me. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that we are blessing those in the highways and the byways. And Lord, that your word, your security is true and it's receptive, Lord. And we are receiving here today in Jesus' mighty name. May we be open in every sense of the word, our heart as well as in our deeds and everything that you call us out to do. May we be open in hearing and in listening to what the Spirit is speaking even into our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I'm coming in because I want this thought to be that every time we suffer, you know, a loss or maybe even we have an opportunity for the loss, but it's to bring a gain for Jesus' sake by allowing his life to be revealed even in a loss amen and majority of the times in a loss there is a time to find salvation in the time of a great loss amen and that we can pray to the lord even in the time of that loss for god's favor for god's great love and that he will answer me with a sure, a sure salvation. I know to lose a loved one, it's very devastating. But at the same time, when our focus is knowing that they were saved, they had a personal relationship to be with Jesus, and has gone on before us. And they have gone on to be with the Lord. In heaven. In paradise. Um, no more sickness. No more disease. No more pain. All these things outside. Of this world in which we know. That. Oh God. That answer me. With that sure. Salvation. There's another text, and salvation is, is wholeness in our spirit, in our soul, in our mind. And I'm not talking about just that of being saved, like bring back and restore to me the joy of my salvation. But salvation of, of healing, salvation of wholeness in every area within our lives. Amen. Rescue me from the mirror. Do not let me sink. Deliver me from those who hate me. And from the deep waters. Do not let the flood waters engulf me. Or the depths to swallow me up. Or even the pit to close its mouth over me. Amen. And so this is where we are asking the Lord here for this uh, this deliverance to deliver me from those who hate me and it brings me back to the book of Psalms like I said we're going into high point and we're going into uh, prayers that we can pray and they're out of the book of Psalms they're in 25 um as the Spirit leads, I will read. But I want you uh, to receive this as a prayer. 
but also you can pray this yourself as we go through the word of God you know the word of God is being applied not only do we absorb it as in we're reading it and, and taking it as drink and eat amen but also to the word of God can be used in our prayer life See, there in 25, the Lord says, Lord, I give myself to you. And you can repeat that with me. Amen. My God, I trust you. Do not let me be disgraced. Do not let my enemies laugh at me. No one who trusts you will be disgraced but those who sin without excuse will be disgraced you see how that is a prayer of deliverance of God rescuing us out of the mirror delivering us before we sink amen into the deep waters, into the flood waters, into the depths, into the pits. Amen. That it will close my mouth over me. Answer me, O oh Lord, out of the goodness of your love. You know, who needs to hear the love of our Heavenly Father as He speaks back to us through his word that he will watch over us out of the goodness of your love that it is in your great mercy turn turn to me do not hide your face from your servant O Lord answer me quickly for I am in trouble amen and so this is the plea you can look that up of the servant psalm 69 from 13 and 17 where he is pleading in that prayer and asking god okay to respond to that need Amen. And, you know, I'm taking this a little bit in step by step. And let me, I just feel neat that I want to turn there. Because it might have a, a little bit of a different reference. And this is from 13 to 17. But I pray to you, Lord, for favor. God, because of your great love, answer me. And you will truly able to save. That you are truly able to save. Pull me from the mud. And do not let me sink. Save me from those who hate me. And from the deep water. Do not let the flood drown me. Or the deep water to swallow me. Or the grave to close its mouth over me. Lord, answer me, because your love is so good. And because of your great kindness, turn to me, O God. Do not hide from me, your servant. I am in trouble. Hurry to help me come near and save me. Rescue me from my enemies. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. See, Lord, do not hide your face from your servant. Answer me quickly, for I am in trouble. And, you know, now let us go into there in Psalms 27, where the Lord responds. To the servant to answer him quickly 
that the Lord says that the Lord is my light and he is the one who saves me that I fear no one that I fear no one or even nothing amen because the Lord is who protects my life I am afraid of no one once again Evil people may try to destroy my body, my enemies, and those who hate me. They attack me, but they are overwhelmed and defeated. If an army surrounds me, I will not be afraid. If war breaks out, I will trust the Lord. And that's true of all of us. Because of where we are in, in this time, in this season within our lives, The war that tries to break out among us. That we can even say, Lord, I will trust you, O Lord. Because I ask only one thing from the Lord. That is what I want. That to let me live in the Lord's house all of my life. Let me see the Lord's beauty that I look with my own eyes at his temple and during danger he will keep me safe in shelter that he will hide me in his holy tent and he will keep me safe on a high mountain why my head is higher than my enemies around me that they will offer joyful sacrifices in his holy tent and it is I will sing and praise the Lord see God wants to give me his goodness his soundness his honesty his love that even in great troubles of any kind of uh, tribulations that God will save us all throughout this trouble. Now that doesn't mean that we won't have no trouble. What it means that he will save me out of many troubles. Amen. See this is according to God's word in this world that I have trouble but I am to take heart that you have overcome this world and that's out of John 16 33 that how do we overcome the world we overcome the world as we take the heart of God that we take heart in God and in his word that even though the world may be in trouble as long as we are connected as long as we are trusting God and we're trusting the Lord in our salvation once again I can go back to that prayer life there in Psalms 25 that Lord I give myself to you. My God, I trust you. Do not let me be disgraced. And do not let my enemies to laugh at me. No one who trusts you will be disgraced. No one who trusts you will be disgraced. But those who sin without an excuse will be disgraced. The Lord. And then we can cry out to God. There in Psalms 25. Lord. Tell me your ways. And show me even how. To live. Amen. And this is what I'm sharing with you. About how we've overcome in this world. That we take. The heart of God. And the promises of God. That God wants to hear our honest 
our honesty of our pleas, our honesties for more of where we lack than for us to feel or for God to see that you know what that there's unbelief I would rather ask God out of my heart of my needs of my situation the honesty of God's word in my life of whatever it is because we can't hide nothing from God. Amen. And so our heart is always open as an open surgery. And that God will see our heart as God knows what's in our heart. Can I hear it? And amen. See, in Psalms 51, 10 to 12, created me a pure heart, O God. And renew a steadfast spirit within me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. You know, grant me a willing spirit. In other words, we have to grab a hold and say, Lord, you know, even though I don't know where I may be missing it. What I do know is that your word doesn't miss it. And your word has granted me a willing spirit to sustain me, to help me, to complete me, to finish me, amen, the work in which you have sustained inside of me. This is the life of, of Christian to a perseverance that even whatever that we may be going through that God will fill it and that God will meet our needs and that God will show us what to do even how to do amen and to be led to move forward see the Lord says help me to rid myself of all the malice and all deceit and all the hypocrisy of all the enviness of all the slander of any and every kind see God knows what's underneath the rock amen God knows the situations that maybe you know that we might find ourselves in But it's God that will purify us and cleanse us and wash us with his precious blood. Why, church? Because as he rids me from all this, this evilness of malice and deceit, it says, like a newborn baby, help me to crave the pure spiritual milk so that by it that I will grow up in my salvation and now that I have tasted that the Lord is good first Peter 2 there in verses 1 through 2 now I have tasted that the Lord is good the spiritual milk that will strengthen your bones the spiritual milk that will mature us is the word of God Amen. That will ha help us to rejoice in our spiritual walk. Amen. But also, too, that it would help rid us from the things of this world. See, Lord, your word says how. How I can keep my way to be pure and by living according to your word. That I will seek you with all my heart. And help me not to stray from your commandments. But help me to hide your word in my heart. That I may 
not sin against you. Amen. And that's out of Psalms 119. There in verses 9 to 11. That may I live pure according to your word. That as I seek you with all my heart. That you help me not to stray from your commandments, Lord. But help me to hide your word in my heart. That I may not sin against you. And now we can go back to the prayer there in Psalms 25. Because that can be used as a partial prayer as well. Out of Psalms 119, 9 through 11. But also in our prayer. I'm going to head off where I was reading there in chapter 25. That Lord, tell me your ways. Show me how to live. Guide me in your truth. Teach me, my God, my Savior. Because I trust you all the day long. I trust you, O oh Lord, all the day long. Lord, remember your mercy and your love that you have shown since long ago. Do not remember the sins and the wrong things that I did when I was young, but remember to love me always because you are good, Lord. Amen. So I pray that you can continually to read out of the prayer of Psalms 25 but it's truly asking the Lord help me help me to you know go through this life in prayer accepting the things of God amen and I know that sometimes life is challenging in itself and decisions that are having to be made. But we have to stand still and know that he is God. And that he will help us. That all day long that he will deliver us. From all different scenarios and all different circumstances. And which we are living in even here today. Amen. May that be your prayer. Lord do not remember the sins. Or the wrong things that I did when I was young. But remember to love me always. Because you are good. Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father I thank you Lord. That you will help to show me. To grow me Lord. To live the life. To defend me Father God. That I may live an innocent life. Before your throne, before your eyes, in this lifetime, Lord, walk with me, show me, lead me, guide me the way into the ways of righteousness, Lord, that I will not be easily swayed from the right to the left or from the left to the right, Lord, that I will stand still and know that you are God different all scenarios that may come our way but may we think righteously and justly for everything that you would have us to do where you would have us to go and where you would lead us and where you would guide us that father that may we have the mind of christ that it all choices and decisions will be that of the Lord and by the power of your might. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray here today. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Church, I pray that this word has been an enlightenment upon your life and that your prayer life will grow through the word of God. And through the concepts of the word of God. And that he will continually to show himself more and more in and throughout our lifetime. As long as we do have breath. 
May we praise the name of the Lord. Amen. God bless you, church. Thank you for soaring high with me here today and discovering that more of the Lord. Amen. And to grow in us in many different ways. God bless you. Thank you for soaring high. Tina Viesca, Cruzando Fronteras con una voz de alerta, crossing borders with a voice of alert. We love you, church. We'll talk to you soon. Um, we may be doing an outside an event today. Amen. And so if you're by, you're more than welcome to come in. If you need a message and let us know uh, for more personal prayer, we're there for you. God bless your church. Amen and amen.